San Diego Padres vs. Miami Marlins Preview, August 9, 2024 Get ready for an intriguing matchup on Friday, August 9th, as the San Diego Padres 63-52 head to Long Depot Park to take on the Miami Marlins 43-72. With Martin Perez and Edward Cabrera set to pitch, this game promises to be a key contest for both teams. San Diego Padres, a balanced team with offensive power. The Padres have been a solid team this season, ranking 11th in MLB with 4.7 runs per game. Their offense boasts a 265 batting average, a 416 slugging percentage, and 131 home runs. With 1,042 hits and 519 RBIs, their lineup is productive, led by a team on base percentage of 326. San Diego excels with 173 doubles and a solid fielding percentage of 987, ranking 8th in the league. Their pitching staff has been reliable with a 3.97 ERA and a whip of 1.23, though they have allowed 124 home runs. The Padres' bullpen has a save percentage of 61.4% with 27 saves and 44 opportunities. Miami Marlins, struggling offense with defensive issues. The Marlins have had a tough season, ranking 29th in the league with just 3.64 runs per game. Their offense features a 238 batting average and a 364 slugging percentage, with 103 home runs and 407 RBIs. Despite having 923 hits, Miami's on-base percentage is a low 292. Defensively, the Marlins rank 29th in fielding percentage at 981 and have a defensive efficiency of 68.1%. Their pitching staff has a 4.52 ERA and a whip of 1.368, having allowed 127 home runs and 570 runs. Miami's bullpen has converted 22 of 42 save opportunities, ranking 29th in save percentage. Pitching matchup, Perez vs. Cabrera. Martin Perez, Perez has a career ERA of 4.47 and a whip of 1.451. He's allowed 1,667 hits in 1,529 innings, with a strikeout rate of 6.3K9. Perez's ability to manage innings and limit runs will be crucial against the Marlins. Edward Cabrera. Cabrera holds a career ERA of 4.42 and a whip of 1.374. He has a 7.0K9 rate and has faced 1,060 hitters in his career. Cabrera's strikeout ability and control will be tested against the potent Padres lineup. Prediction and betting props. Given the Padres' stronger overall performance and offensive capabilities, they are well positioned to win this game. San Diego's pitching staff, coupled with their offensive depth, gives them the edge. Final score prediction, San Diego Padres 6-3 Miami Marlins. Props to watch. 1. Padres team total, over 5.5 expect the Padres to score multiple runs given their offensive strength. 2. Marlins team total, under 3.5 the Marlins struggles at the plate may limit their scoring opportunities. 3. Padres home runs, over 1.5 San Diego's power hitters should be able to hit home runs against Cabrera. 4. Martin Perez strikeouts. Over 5.5, Perez's ability to generate strikeouts should see him exceed this mark. 5. Edward Cabrera earned runs. Over 3.5, Cabrera might struggle against the Padres lineup, allowing more earned runs. Tune in for an exciting matchup as the Padres and Marlins face off in what promises to be a competitive game. For more updates and analysis, keep following our coverage. Kansas City Royals vs. St. Louis Cardinals Preview, August 9, 2024. On Friday, August 9th, the Kansas City Royals 64-52 will host the St. Louis Cardinals 59-56 at Kauffman Stadium. This matchup features a pitching duel between Miles McCullough and Michael Lorenzen and promises to be a key contest for both teams. Kansas City Royals, a balanced defensive threat. The Royals are performing well offensively, ranking 10th in MLB with 4.78 runs per game. Their offense features a 253 batting average, a 414 slugging percentage, and 126 home runs. With 980 hits and 538 RBIs, Kansas City has been effective at the plate, supported by a 311 on-base percentage. The Royals have also been strong defensively, with a fielding percentage of 987, ranking 5th in the majors. Their pitching staff boasts a 3.77 ERA and a whip of 1.255, having allowed 107 home runs and 460 runs. The Royals' bullpen has a save percentage of 61.4% with 27 saves and 44 opportunities, and they rank 17th in save rate. St. Louis Cardinals, solid pitching but struggling offensively. 
the Cardinals are struggling offensively, ranked 23rd in MLB with 4.2 runs per game. Their batting lineup features a 246 average, a 387 slugging percentage, and 118 home runs. With 957 hits and 451 RBIs, the Cardinals have been inconsistent at the plate, supported by a 309 on base percentage. Defensively, St. Louis has a fielding percentage of 988, ranking third in the league, and their pitching staff has a 4.07 ERA with a whip of 1.26. They have allowed 123 home runs and 521 runs. The Cardinals' bullpen has a save percentage of 70.2% with 40 saves and 57 opportunities, and they are third in MLB with 83 holds. Pitching matchup, Nicolas vs. Lorenzen. Miles McCullers. McCullers holds a career ERA of 4.08 and a whip of 1.198. He has given up 1,055 hits in 1,052 innings with 759 strikeouts. His ability to limit runs and manage innings will be crucial against the Royals. Michael Lorenzen. Lorenzen has a career ERA of 4.06 and a whip of 1.320. He has allowed 758 hits in 830 innings with 682 strikeouts. Lorenzen's control and strikeout ability will be tested against the potent Royals lineup. Prediction and betting props Given the Royals' strong offensive and pitching performance, they are well positioned to secure a win. Kansas City's balanced approach and superior stats make them the favorites in this matchup. Final score prediction, Kansas City Royals 7-3 St. Louis Cardinals. Props to watch 1. Royals team total, over 6.5 expect the Royals to score multiple runs given their offensive strength. 2. Cardinals team total, under 4.5 the Cardinals offensive struggles may limit their scoring opportunities. 3. Royals home runs, over 1.5 Kansas City's power hitters should be able to hit home runs against McCullough's. 4. Miles McCullough's strikeouts, over 5.5 McCullough's strikeout capability should see him exceed this mark. 5. Michael Lorenzen earned runs. Over 4.5, Lorenzen might struggle against the Royals lineup, allowing more earned runs. This game is set to be an exciting contest as the Royals and Cardinals face off. For more updates and detailed analysis, stay tuned to our coverage.